For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The love of God is shed abroad upon the fact is that Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. He lived 33 and a half years and died upon Calvary's mountain. He died because we are sinners. And we are sinners by the fact is that we die. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So we're going to die, but there's a gift before we die. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. I'm here to tell you right now that the next great event in the future yet to happen is going to happen to Bible-believing, born-again Christians. And how I mean by Bible-believing is you have believed in the Bible Jesus, the Bible salvation, that Jesus Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, was buried, and rose again. That next great event that will take me and other believers on Jesus Christ is called the Rapture. Jesus is coming. His first coming was in the manger in Bethlehem. He will be coming again. He will be calling his church up. But he's not coming to the earth. He's going to meet his church in the air. After the church has been raptured, you will get your hell on earth. You will get a seven year reign of Satan, the Antichrist himself, or the 666. But the tribulation period is not for you Gentiles. It's a time of Jacob's trouble, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Salvation will be wrought to the Jews by God chastising his people for rejecting him. You cannot seek salvation as a Gentile in the tribulation no matter how many movies you watch or seen or has been made by un-Hollywood. You see, Rapture Airlines is going to happen pretty soon. That moment in time that when those that die in Christ, those that are saved in Christ will be called up to the clouds. That moment that you will be happy that all of us Christians will be gone. And we'll leave our cash, check, and money order all behind for you. We will not be here with the Bible to irritate you anymore. Satan will take over the job for us. But Rapture Airlines is going to happen pretty soon. And those that are in Christ will be forever with Christ. No unsaved people will go in the Rapture, thank God. We'll depart from you, and you'll depart from, from uh, you'll depart from us. There'll be a great division at the rapture: the saved and the lost. But you can still get on Rapture Airlines right now before Christ calls His church away. Rapture Airlines. It's not through religion. It is not through works. It is by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. In order to go into Rapture Airlines, you've got to get a ticket. And everybody knows that tickets cost money.
money. But Rapture Airlines will not cost you anything. It costs the Lord Jesus Christ upon Calvary. The ticket booth is for you to come to Calvary and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, as you repent and are sorry for your sins. And you apply the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ to your sins and be washed. The gate of the rapture is when you come to the empty tomb. That means you can't have a Jesus that's still nailed to the cross. You can't have a Jesus that is not God. You've got to have the Jesus that is virgin born. You've got to have a Jesus that died upon Calvary. You've got to have the Jesus that was buried. And you've got to have the resurrected, empty tomb, Jesus Christ, to be saved. And the Apostle Paul writes to the carnal American Church of Corinth and says that there is another Jesus, there is another Spirit, there is another Gospel. you got to be warned. But the rapture is only for those who have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you do not receive the Lord Jesus Christ, you will, I am obligated to say that you will burn in hell. And many Christians do not like that. But hell is real. Hell is not full. The Bible says many of you will burn in hell. Because you will hear the gospel. You will hear, what must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. And you'll continue to walk on. You'll continue to reject God. You will not believe Jesus Christ as your Savior. And you will burn in hell. With your religion. With your good works. For the Bible says there is none good. No, not one. You will live your Bible contrary to God in the Bible, and you'll spend eternity contrary to God in the Bible. Salvation is wrought by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Science cannot prove evolution, but history can prove Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. True love is sacrificial love. Ladies and gentlemen, I love Jesus Christ and I love my wife. My wife Tracy. But if I tell her I love her and I don't spend no time with her, I don't do anything with her, what love is that? If you truly love God, if you truly love the Lord Jesus Christ, you will love His words. For Jesus Christ is the Word. Jesus said, I am the way. Forget your religion. Forget who you are. Forget what you are. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth. Your pastor, your priest, your rabbi just may be lying to you. Unthinkable, but it does happen. There are many people in pulpits today that are liars. And Paul tells that carnal church that they are of Satan. But Jesus will never, as God, will never, is not able, and cannot ever think of telling a lie to you.
to you. He says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. You want life? It's not in drugs. You want life? It's in Jesus Christ. Life doesn't begin at 40. Life doesn't begin at 50. Life begins at Calvary. When you come to that cross and realize you're a sinner, that you need to repent, and you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You can't come to me and say, I eat Jesus. That's not going to do it. You can't come to me and say, I go to church. That's not the tickets to the rapture. You can't come to me and say, I'm good. I give money. That's not the tickets God wants to see for heaven. The only ticket to heaven is the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the only ticket. No blood, no heaven. Now let's get a little confusion here. Because Allah wants blood for you to get virgins. Well, after you're done with the virgins, there are no more virgins. I don't need to get into that. But see, God, Jehovah, the Bible, doesn't want you to shed blood. He has already shed blood. His blood, Acts 20.28. If Acts 20.28 20, says that that blood is God's blood, then the one that died upon Calvary's tree is God. 100% man, 100% God. He is holy, I am not. He has wept, I has wept. He has felt pain, I feel pain. He had friend ones die. I got friend ones that died. God has came down and knows my thoughts, has lived what I lived, and still went to Calvary for my soul. That's God, and that's man, that's the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is not the kind of message to brush off. Let's go to the back of the brain. Let's get the watermelons at the end. No, let's get Jesus Christ now settled before you die. Get your tickets right now. Oh no, he's not trying to upset us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that
Because if I did that, somebody would call the police. Salvation is brought to you today by the very Word of God. The very Word of God that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Death is coming. Hey, you want to get you want to get rid of that guy with that music for me? Put him in your chair. He, he keeps telling me he, he, he's not hindering our, our gospel, but man, I'm getting aggravated with him today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, amen. Amen. You got a card for your dentist? Because we're going to need some work. We just got some insurance and give it to a Christian. Right now, but I will bring you next time. Okay. Yeah, because we need some dentist work, so. Alright. Thank you. You too now. You're going to bring a card next time he's here. Well, people, you have hired this guy. I had preach in my Jerusalem. I am going to move to Samaria. I want to make the Word of God be able to be heard. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life is sent by Jesus Christ, who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Those are the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. You to be saved. I tell you that. You keep on doing it. I'll keep on preaching the word, brother. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. For there is salvation no other but by Jesus Christ. I am walking the path now because of this guy. I'm going to walk all around and preach the word that it may get out to one and all. I'm not going to stand. I'm going to walk and preach that Jesus saves and Jesus alone For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. I rebuke you and Satan, my friends. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And I'm not on your sidewalk, I'm on the road. I'm on the road with the Word of God, with the Bible, Lord Jesus Christ, that you may be saved, that you may be born again. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You can thank your bongo man for me going up and down and preaching the Word. I'm going to go up and down and preach Jesus Christ as he plays his music. I'm going to go up and down say that Jesus saves, Jesus alone that saves. I'm going to make sure the word is heard, that Jesus saves. That music will burn in hell, but Jesus, you will not burn in hell. The precious blood of God without spot, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. We've got the words of life. We've got the same words from the Holy Bible that Jesus saves and Jesus alone saves. Believing in the Lord Jesus Christ 
will give you life, will give you life eternal. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. The wrath of God is H-E-L-L, -L, hell. And we're here that you may not go to hell. We are here to tell you how not to go to hell. That's the love of God that he sends people like us with his word. There will be no angelical host. There will be no signs. The Bible will speak to you the salvation of the feet of a preacher. Out of the mouth of a man sent by God to proclaim his word. The prophecy that there will be death. There will be judgment. And only those that have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ will not be in a place called hell. Those that have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible speaks of death, absent from the body, and present with the Lord. The Bible speaks about those who have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. And he died, and was buried, and in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torment. Do you think life is bad now? Wait till you wake up in hell in the absence of God. Wait till you wake up in a hell and you realize you can never get out. This place ain't hell. This place is just a place for you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. This is a place where you are to believe on God's Son, His only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, that the Gospel states that He died according to the scriptures. He was buried. And according to the scriptures, he arose again the third day. Go in the graveyards. That has not happened. Only by Jesus Christ. The mark that he is the salvation. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. Is the very fact is his tomb is empty this moment right now. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he says, What must you do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Not your religion, not in your works, not who you are. For there is none good, no, not one. Salvation is wrought in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. For there is salvation in no other. Prepare to meet thy God, the Bible says. Notice I keep saying what the Bible says. What the Bible says. What I say is the words are found in this book. This book has survived decades. This book has survived centuries. This book has been the host of men and women shedding their blood because people hate this book. You hate this book. You hate God. You hate Jesus Christ. Oh, no, I don't. You haven't believed on Him. You hate God and Jesus Christ. Jesus said, if a man will love me, he will keep his word. There goes a man that hates God and Jesus Christ. I am not ashamed of the gospel. Because by this gospel am I saved. Not of who I am and what I am. What God is. What Jesus Christ is. That is how I'm saved. Saved by the blood of the Lamb. Saved by the crucified one. Saved by God. You will face the wrath of God by rejecting the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. You will take your eyeballs and sleep to death and wake up in torments without the blood of Jesus Christ. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will. But you will be absent from the body and present with the Lord. You're going to die. The wages of sin is death. You will die. 
and you may have something called life insurance. But do you have eternal life insurance? The, the premium has been paid by the blood of Jesus Christ. And the retirement of Jesus Christ at Calvary's Hill is beyond any retirement that anybody could give you. You get a mansion. You get a possibility of earning crowns and rewards. But beyond all that, you will forever be with the one that died for you, the one that is your Savior. You will be with Him for all eternity in a sinless body. Your body will never break down. Your body will never get tired. Your body will never sin. Your body will never need medical attention. If a doctor's in heaven, you will not need him. Not need a doctor. If a pharmacist is in heaven, you will rejoice with the Lord Jesus Christ with him that you don't need bottles of pills. And yet, in hell, you will want a doctor. He may be there, but he cannot do anything for your burning. A pharmacist in hell cannot relieve your pain and suffering. He will be in torment. He will be pain and sorrow. He will suffer the wrath of God as you are today. See, the Bible says in John 3, you're not going to hell. You're already there if you have not believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. You're... Peace is what by God there is no peace, says the Lord, unto the wicked. Your reservations are set right now in hell. And to get out of hell is by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. No religion, no money, no works. Why are you so loud? Why are you so loud? Because God has gifted me with a loud voice so that you may hear that Jesus saves and Jesus alone that saves. Uh, the Word of God, yes. When it's my own voice, no. When I speak the words, I am speaking God. For Jesus saves and Jesus alone. Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And Bible has told us that ye must be born again. Must. Why they call the peace? There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. I've got the peace. I've got the joy. I've got the fruit of the Holy Spirit because I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. 